Hey YouTube, I've got a new video for you today. We're going to be looking at the latest release from Troy Books, The Canticles of Lilith. And this is a book that uh, grabbed my interest rather quickly. Um, I haven't spent much time uh, reading or researching Lilith, and most of my books kind of mention her in passing. So when I saw that this book was coming out and I saw the table of contents, I went ahead and pre-ordered it right away. Um, if you are very new to Lilith and researching her and deciding if you want to work with her, uh, I, I definitely recommend this book. Likewise, if you have been working with her for some time um, or just want to research her more thoroughly. I also highly recommend this book. Now this is the limited uh, hardcover of Canticles of Lilith and um, the authors are there on the, the spine and it's got a very nice uh, very nice binding and a uh, relatively simple uh, cover but uh, just a lot of a lot of details on the almost like a shield um, with some some writing and some various symbols uh, the end papers are a nice scarlet red and this is the special limited edition uh, 85 of 125 that were made there's also a signed uh, nameplate because I got this directly from Troy um, it's not glued in or anything it's usually right here but uh, it's upstairs in my, my main office. 2021, October last year. And I just wanna flip over and show you the table of contents and give you some of my initial impressions and then show you the rest of the book. Uh, there's not, not really a lot of pictures in the book. Um, it's pretty good size and it's all, you know, probably 98, 99% text. Uh, nice full pages, so you're getting a lot of information in this book. So it gives you a nice introduction with the witch icon, and then it moves into part one. Now, part one, looking at these subjects here, um, it sheds some uh, some information on a lot of the more common ideas of Lilith and in some cases, misconceptions. Um, most people, because of pop culture, are familiar with Lilith as being uh, the symbol of feminine power, uh, lust, um, vampirism. And while those are certainly uh, true, she is, in my mind anyway, oftentimes just limited to those things and she's much more than that. And um, just part one of this book really gives that uh, impression that she should be treated more seriously than just being the icon of uh, feminine freedom and sex. Um, while those things are both very important, you can expand on that a lot more, and this book does an amazing job of doing that. Part two is I would kind of categorize it as more of essays about Lilith, and it expands on the, some of the topics in part one. And, um, you know, it's, you can see the, some of the similarities between the subjects, and they just, again, they just go more in depth. Now, part three, for those of you who have seen my review on the Cult of the Black Cube and working with Saturn, the end of that book had some rites and rituals and some uh, practice that you could undergo if you want to begin working with Saturn. And this book, The Canticles of Lilith, takes a similar approach. Uh, when you get to part three, you're looking at rites, evocations, and rituals uh, that you can use to begin working with, uh, with Lilith or to begin worshiping her as, a, as the deity. Uh, one of the deities that you would want to work with in the future. So I like that the book spends all this time <clears throat> uh, going into 
this information. What I don't like necessarily is a book that's all theory and history without practice. And I also think the books that are there that are purely practice leave out a lot of information um, as why you would even want to practice with a deity in the first place if you don't know much about them. This book is a perfect blend of, you know, two-thirds of it being um, information about Lilith and the last bit uh, showing some of the, the rituals. And then it shows the masculine and the feminine, lunar and solar. It also makes a comparison between the Father and the Son, the Holy Ghost, with Lilith, Satan, and Lucifer. And there's also, if those of you who have researched uh, Babylonian, Mesopotamian lore and history, uh, like the Rod and Ring book by Anathema Publishing, uh, Ayana Ishtar, or Babylon, the Red Goddess, there's a lot of parallels with Lilith and, uh, and the Red Goddess. And the uh, evocation of Lilith shows the diagram, candles, directions, moon phases. There's a lot more pictures in the back. There's also um, a whole section about Lilith and the tarot. It was back on the uh, table of contents, but I wanted to mention that also. Um, the, the book... Uh, again, if you're looking for a single book on Lilith, you can't go wrong with this one. Um, if you are, uh, again, like I said, a huge fan of, of Lilith and working with her, then, then pick up this book. As far as a comparison, uh, if you enjoyed Lucifer Princeps or um, The Devil's Supper, um, I'm trying to think of a few other books that read similar. This kind of reads that same way. It's very in-depth, but it doesn't rely on um, repeating the same subject too many times or being overly wordy, which I really love. Uh, it gives you the information. It's very well researched, and it's, uh, it's easy to follow along with. So... Uh, I highly recommend this book. I've had probably 10 or 15 books from Troy in the last three years. This is one of my top three favorites. So very high praise uh, for this book. I'm pleasantly surprised, and it's one of the better books to come out in the last year. So definitely pick it up, and thanks for watching.